Now, let us talk about the rise of commercial forestry in India. As the name suggests commercial that is the Britishers wanted to generate more income from the forest that is why they thought of commercial forestry. And in order to give a better output they actually called in Dietrich Brandes who was a German expert and the first inspector general of forests in India. When he came to India, he actually understood that first of all the forest in India had to be managed properly and also the science of conservation of forest needed to be taught to the people and also to the people who were looking after the forest. Therefore, he started with rules for using forest because in India forest belonged to everybody. Anybody before that could actually go in, graze their cattle, fell the trees, pluck the berries or whatever they wanted to. Forest was a gift of nature and those who lived in forest or around forest considered it to be their wealth. But Dietrich Brandes started with rules for forest and immediately he said that the felling of trees and grazing of cattle has to be avoided in the forest if commercial forestry is to be picked up in India. Now following on these lines, first of all in India, the Indian forest rules were made and here we see that the Indian forest rules which were made, first of all Indian forest service which was made was in the year 1864 and this founded the first rule and that was in the year 1865. The Imperial for Research Institute was founded at Dehradun and here started in the year 1906 the scientific forestry. The scientific forestry is that forestry according to which all the trees are felled and then new trees are planted in rows giving proper space in between and the trees planted are of one species. Of course, the time period that was taken was long because not all trees could be felled at the same time and then the trees could be grown. So, it was decided that how much of forest would actually be felled at one time and how the cultivation of new trees has to be started with. That was the scientific forestry which was started and the institute as I said was the Imperial Forestry Research Institute at Dehradun. Now here they also started with the plantation forestry which is the planting of trees in a straight row. Then after that as I said the first act which was made in India of the forest was in the year 1865. It was twice amended, once in the year 1878 and second in the year 1927. According to the 1878 Act, the forests were divided into three, that is the reserved forest, the protected forest and the village forest. The best forest were the reserved forest where nobody could go and nobody could in fact collect anything from there. It was only in the village forest that the villagers were allowed to collect fuel wood or some berries. That means for the first time in India the rules were framed for the usage of forest and of course 
as it was a change, so setback for those people who had been living on forests for years together, whose livelihood, whose income were generated from the forests. Let us continue with the story in the next clipping.